It started to rain in the afternoon in the capital area, quite heavy at times, but it seems like it was just the beginning as the rain is expected to intensify overnight and could continue till tomorrow. And upper regions, including the capital, could receive more than 100 millimeters of heavy rainfall, so there's a high possibility that a heavy rain advisory could be issued. And as it mentioned during the newscast, today is Jungbok here in Korea, marking one of the hottest days of the summer, but it was rather quite muggy instead of hot, and tomorrow should be slightly cooler than today, with highs in Seoul and Gwangju reaching up to 27, and Daegu and Busan will see a high of 30 and 28 tomorrow afternoon. And as for the other regions, it seems like Daejeon will top out at 27, and the blistering day is in store for Jeju Island with high getting up to 33. Now the 12th typhoon of the season, Halola, continues its journey to Japan's Ryukyu Islands and could possibly have an indirect effect on Jeju Island and the southern coastal regions by Sunday. Well, that's all for Korea, and here's international weather for views around the world.